One. Good afternoon. I know it's Friday, a little late for Thursdays with Terry, but a better late than never, I'm hoping. Last night, I was at Democratic Women, and Judge Dotson Smith talked about our courts, and um, I talked about the sustained and relentless attack on our courts. So what's important to know is we have really two levels of courts in North Carolina. There are state courts, which are our North Carolina Supreme Court and the Court of Appeals. And they are our last bastion against the, the unconstitutional laws that are coming out of the General Assembly. And so, uh, needless to say, uh, they have been under attack. Uh, this year, we decreased the number of uh, positions on the Court of Appeals. We've taken away public funding for those elections, and we've made those elections partisan. That's brought in literally millions of dollars from out of state to influence our Supreme Court elections. That's clearly wrong. Then we have another level of courts, the trial courts that are local courts, and those are our district courts and superior courts. And what they're doing there is they are, they are working to redistrict those court districts. And what's important to know about the redistricting effort is, one, it's a sham. It is totally partisan, and I can give you an example with Buncombe County. Uh, Buncombe County has about 25, uh, about 250,000 people, uh, seven district court judges, two superior court judges. There are at least four other court districts with more people and more judges. Uh, we are being broken up into three districts so that you'll only be able to elect two or three of your judges, where those other districts get to elect all of their judges. And one of those districts has as many as 12. And if you look at where they're doing this, where they're breaking up uh, districts into sub-districts for election purposes, they're all in progressive areas. So clearly there is um, male intent here. And I believe one of the things they're going after is the progressive work that's being done in Buncombe County. We have um, an excellent court system here. Uh, obviously, there's work that has to be done, but we put a lot of effort, our judges do, in working with our county and with our nonprofits to keep people out of jail, to get people the help they need to turn their lives around. We have treatment courts, including uh, DWI court and drug court and veterans court and family drug court. These are courts that um, help people uh, get back on track. I love to go to their graduations. There's never a dry eye in the room. Uh, there are some really amazing stories, and 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 they're effective. Uh, but but. Uh, they are under attack right now. So um, uh, my message today is be vigilant. We need to, uh, we need to make sure that uh, when we go back in session in May, if they don't bring us back sooner, that we let them know this is not acceptable. We need fair courts, um, not political courts, and, uh, and uh, we're going to stop this. So thank you for listening today. And um, we're out of session now. That's a good thing. I'm so happy to be back in Asheville. Um, I'll try to check in occasionally if there's anything on the horizon that I need to let you know about. But know that I am very grateful to everyone who listens and emails and calls and comments. Uh, it means the world to me. Thank you very much.